The Economic Commission for Africa says it aims to equip 650 million African workers with digital skills by 2030 while creating millions of jobs for the continent's youth. This was announced by ECA Executive Secretary Clever Gatt at the 2024 ECA Africa Business Forum in Ethiopia. Uh, tech giants like Google attended the forum in Addis Ababa, emphasizing the need for collaboration between public and private sectors to achieve the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. We want. Mr. Gatt highlighted Africa's potential as an innovation powerhouse, emphasizing the importance of investing in science and technology, particularly in artificial intelligence. Joining me now the world now is a software and developer relations engineer, Fortune Kechi. Uh, he joins us live from Port Tarkat. Mr. Kechi, thank you for joining us on the world now. There are talks about Africa's potential to become a worldwide powerhouse for innovative solutions. Uh, what potential does this ECA goal hold in this regard? Um, thank you very much for having me. Um, so first, I'm Fortune, a software engineer and community leader. Yeah, for this adoption, I think it has a far more range in the parts in Africa, right? Uh, there is the adoption of artificial intelligence can help with several things, right? It can help with the national sustainable development goals, yeah. which could help Africa as a whole with more economic growth, um, improve the health care of the African continent and our education. I mean, we already see several students um, use um, GPT tools to help make um, learn better for themselves and even professors do the same thing. So there's a far reaching um, impact on Africa as a whole for artificial intelligence coming forward. So the ECA Executive Secretary has underscored the importance of artificial intelligence and machine learning as pivotal tools in addressing societal and economic problems. But how much attention do you think is, this is currently getting on the continent in the way of investment in science and technology? Yeah, I don't think we have a lot of investment in science and technology, right? In my work building developer communities, we notice that there is a need for us to grow more adoption, right? To increase adoption of artificial intelligence and machine learning um, for developers. But then how do we do this? We need um, enough access to learning opportunities, right? Because to build Africa or to solve Africa's problems with artificial intelligence and machine learning, that will be done by engineers. For us to have engineers, we need to have more learning opportunities out there. We need to have more STEM education. We need to have necessary governance and infrastructure to adopt this for the African continent. An example can be shown, for example, in Africa, we have over 716,000 software engineers. And in the US, for one, there is five times that number at 4.4 million. So for us to adopt this, we need not just more engineers, but we also need to partner with the global communities. Mm. Uh, a lot of partnership, uh, you know, we have heard is needed in this regard. It's the big question is how much is actually taking place as we speak. The recommendation for this stance is widespread AI education and governmental investment in this sector. Uh, talk to us about the precise role you think government uh, on the continent uh, is expected to play? I think governments can make it more accessible uh, through governance and infrastructure, right? For students to, and not just students, engineers and technocrats in the continent to go into the world of AI. An example is we have a lot of bureaucracy when it comes to solving problems with AI at the moment. We although see a significant portion of um, uh, startups who use AI to do amazing things in the community. Um, we still need more um, infrastructure, but we still need more governance. We still need an open market economy for just artificial intelligence, right? We need mm -hmm. to make it in a way that there are laws that benefit entrepreneurs who are going into building using AI tools and machine learning tools for the economy, right? Remove some bottlenecks around this. I think that would help significantly a lot more. It will also help better if we introduce STEM education or even enforce the need for STEM education in our universities and our polytechnic or higher institutions. Uh, we're looking forward to that and hopefully uh, all the stakeholders can make account and also deliver big for the continent 
in the comment. Yes, a big thank you, uh, Fortune. Uh, Fortune Nikechi, live for us in Portakas. It's great talking to you. Thank you very much. Let's turn now to 